In this final video for the law of cosines, we're going to take a look at something called Heron's formula. And Heron's formula can be utilized to be able to find the area of a triangle given three sides of that triangle. So if A, B, and C are sides of any of the triangles with corresponding angles A, B, and C capital, the area of the triangle can be computed by S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C under a radical, where S is half of the perimeter. Right? So it's actually pretty easy to do this, just a straight on computational sort of problem. So we have A, B are both 20, C is 18. So when we're doing this, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna find what S is. So that's half of the sum of the sides. So 20 plus 20 plus 18. Now we know 20 plus 20 plus 18 is going to give us 58. Half of 58 should be 29, right? But in case we don't trust that, what we should do is we should just go in our calculator and we could just take half of 20 plus 20 plus 18, and that does indeed give us 29. And so at this point, we could just go ahead and we could just stick everything into Heron's formula. So the area is going to be equal to the square root of 29, which is S, and then 29 minus 20 times another 29 minus 20, and then times 29 minus 18. At this point, we could just shove this immediately into our calculator exactly as it looks. Okay, so we're going to have the square root of 29 times quantity 29 minus 20 times 29 minus 20 times 29 minus 18. All right, and that gives us 160.7. So this is going to be approximately, um, what do we say, 160.7. And that's going to be in square kilometers, just because our units were initially in kilometers. A second example. So we have side 21, side 17, and side 13. Okay. And so, um, first of all, we're going to find S, which again is half the perimeter. So half of 21 plus 17 plus 13. Um, that's going to be half of 51. So that should be 25.5. All right, but just in case we don't trust that, we should go to our calculator. All right, and so I'm going to take half of, what did we say, 21, 17, and 13. 21, 17, 13 is 25.5. And now we could just go ahead and find the area. So our area is the square root of 25.5 times 25.5 minus 21 times 25.5 minus 17, and then times 25.5 minus 13, right? And so we can go ahead and compute that, right? So just give me a moment, I'll shove it into the calculator. So we have a square root of 25.5 times 25.5 minus 21, 25.5 minus 17, and 25.5 minus 13. All right, and that gives us 110.4. Right, so 110.4, and that's in feet squared. Okay, so Heron's formula, really easy for us to use, strictly a computational problem. All right, um, and again, it's a deriva it's derivation from one of our law of cosines. All right, so that's everything with the law of cosines. Again, we um, when we're trying to solve right triangles, or I'm sorry, when we're trying to solve triangles. Uh, we can use this in tandem with the law of sines to be able to evaluate the sides and the missing angles for this. Right. So we'll have one last section or one last unit that we have to look through um, with respect to some of our uh, trigonometry. And that's really going to stem into vectors. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at that in our next video series. And we'll be done soon with analytical trigonometry.